Assalamu alaikum. This is experiment number 11 of your applied physics lab, and I'm your lab instructor, Ms. Ega. The object of experiment, experiment number 11 is to find out the ionization potential of mercury using a gas filled diode. The apparatus that are required are a gas filled diode. The gas in this case is mercury vapors, a DC direct current, power supply, voltmeter, microammeter, and the potentiometer. Ionization potential. The least energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from an isolated free neutral atom is known as the ionization potential of the atom. The ionization potential is different from the excitation potential uh, because the excitation potential is a potential difference that is used uh, or required to excite an electron from ground level to um, first um, excited state or second excited state etc where in ionization potential the electrons jump from ground state to the infinite uh, energy state or you can say out of the atom ionization potential of mercury the ionization potential of mercury can be determined by the in by introducing mercury vapor at a low pressure of 10 millimeter to 50 millimeter of mercury column in a tube fitted with cathode and an anode a mercury vapor filled gas is the most suitable for this purpose uh, as you can see in the diagram a symbolic figure is shown in the diagram the dot in the tube shows the presence of the gas or the vapor in the diode the plate in this diagram is anode when the anode or plate of the gas filled diode is at a positive potential with respect to cathode electrons move across the tube from the cathode to anode. This electronic current depends upon two factors. The first one is the number of electrons emitted per unit area from the cathode and the temperature of the cathode and the second one is the effect of a space charge. The space charge is a cloud of charges either positive or negative. In this case initially the positive charges are accumulated around the, the negative charges accumulated around the anode and block the flow of current. So when the mercury gas ionizes, the positive charges uh, react with the uh, accumulated uh, negative charges and then neutralizes the space charge. Um, because of the space charge, initially the flow of current is very minimum and obviously it also depends on the number of electrons emitted per unit area from the cathode and initially the emitted electron, the number of emitted electron is less. These two uh, becomes the reason of minimum current. Now as the uh, plate potential is increased, the plate current sl slowly increase because of the space charge and the number of electrons uh, because initially the number of electrons are less. But when the plate potential is increased beyond a particular value, which is the ionization potential, the current value increases more rapidly than it does below that value. This is because when the plate potential approaches this critical value, the electrons arriving at the anode gain enough energy to knock out the electrons from the atoms of the gas close to the anode. These electrons are attracted by the anode, by the anode causing an increase in plate current and the positive ion neutralize some of the space charge. With further help to increase the kinetic energy of the thermo electrons, the potential is equal to the ionization potential of the gas or vapor and for this value of uh, plate potential, there is a marked increase in plate, put, plate current. Now here is the procedure of this experiment. This is the experimental setup uh, from which we can find the ionization potential of mercury. This is the voltmeter uh, from which uh, we can find out the, we can note down the volt, values of the voltage. Here, this one is the glass tube fitted with anode and cathode in which the mercury gas is filled at low temperature and this is micro emitter from which we can note down the values of the current uh, from this knob we can vary the vo uh, voltage here you can see the voltage is changing from this knob uh, the voltmeter is connected at uh, 15 volts here you can see at the bottom so we have to read the upper scale of the voltmeter here two divisions is equal to one volt now let's see how to measure the uh, values 
initially the voltage is at zero we are increasing it at one volts and we can see the voltage of current is zero at this point initially the current is uh, increasing minimum with the increase in voltage that is why we are, we are taking the readings with one volts difference again at two volts it is zero at three volts at three volts it is showing a value of one one micro ampere you can see a slight current is increasing initially the standard value of ionization potential of mercury is around 10 so um close to 10 volts the current is uh, increasing more with increase in voltage like at from 10 onwards uh, we will calculate the readings with 5 uh, 0.5 volts difference because uh, close to the ionization potential the current increase rapidly with increase in voltage you can see beyond 10 it is increasing more Eleven, twelve, and then at thirteen, it becomes out of the scale or infinite. So that's how you will do the experiment. Now this is the observation table. The observation have been recorded with the help of the experiment, as uh, shown in the previous part. Here you can see the plate voltage increases with one volt difference initially. Then, um, as I said earlier, near the point. And near the ionization potential value, we are going to increase the values with 0.5 difference. So here we increase the value with 0.5 difference uh, after 8 volts. Here 8.5. At 8.5, the value is uh, 6 microampere. But at seven, uh, at 9 volts, it is 7.5. That is a considerable difference of 1.5 microampere. And later on, um, after this point, the difference is increasing with the increase with increase in plate vo voltage values like 9 13 16 and then at 13 volts the value of plate current is out of a scale or infinite here is the graph of this experiment the graph is splitted in two parts initially as we know the plate current increases very slowly with increase in the plate voltage so the values uh, before 8 or 8.5 will be plotted like this a straight line from A to B and the higher values where the plate current increases rapidly with increase in plate voltage will be plotted like this the other line here this like this Both lines meet at the point E and at this point we have to drop a perpendicular at point F and the point F is the ionization potential of mercury noted from the graph or observed from the graph. That's how you will uh, find out the value or measure the value of ionization potential from your experiment. Now the task uh, calculation. First of all, the standard value of ionization potential of mercury is given that is 10.4 volts. With the help of this value, you have to find out the percentage error. Uh, the observed value is 10.4 volts here. Exact value is 10.4 volts here and the observed value that you have noted down from the graph. The tasks are first of all, you have to uh, note down the ionization potential of mercury then estimate a percentage error and then prepare for the viva. 
Best of luck and Allah Hafiz.